Do you think Watson should be worried about this situation at this point? Not yet. He should not be worried yet. I'll remind everyone, last week Adam Schefter said that the over-under on teams with new quarterbacks next year is 18. I was shocked when I heard that, and even more shocked when he took the over. The over-under is 18. He took the over. So there's going to be a huge quarterback carousel this offseason. And in terms of musical chairs, the idea that Deshaun Watson – who's probably, other than Mahomes, the number one guy you want, given age, ability, the whole thing. And they, he's signed to a big deal, but he's worth it, and he's locked up in that deal now. Deshaun Watson's not going to be left without a seat if they're playing quarterback musical chairs. So, And there's plenty of time for all those. Now, if everyone's all set at quarterback, then it's a different story. But even then, you might think you're set at quarterback, and then you have a chance to get Deshaun Watson then you're not so set at quarterback anymore because he is most likely a huge upgrade over anyone you have. The idea that the Texans are being intractable and they don't want to trade him, I believe they have to front right now because they're probably not getting offers commensurate with what he's worth. They saw Matt Stafford. The Lions took Matt Stafford, traded him for Jared Goff, and two firsts and a third. So I'll bet right now they're saying – the bidding starts at three first, and maybe they're not hearing what they want, but Stephen A., eventually, they're not going to be able to say no to the haul that they can get for Deshaun. Max, if we had to bet our money, we're on the same page in terms of the likelihood that Deshaun Watson will be moved because we can't believe the Texans would be that stupid uh, not to move a guy uh, that is, is defiant, that clearly wants out, uh, and they can take the intractable position all they want to. It's not going to work to their benefit. But when the question is asked, should I be worried, I'm going to say yes, Max, and here's why. Think about this here. You have this guy, Jamie Roots, who was the president. He has now resigned. Max Kellerman, if you look at this guy's bio, do you know where he went to school? Clemson. I don't know offhand. He went to Clemson. Clemson University, Max. So you would think, <laughs> considering where Deshaun Watson came from, what he did for that institution, how beloved he is by that institution, and Dabo Sweeney Good and all point. of that, somebody would have went to Jamie Root to say, oh, you know, what, what the hell's going on here? You, are, you are you not taking care of our boy? With him being gone, clearly we've got a situation where something has gone awry, and the McNair family doesn't appear to give a damn, all right? And so when you look at it from that perspective, is it beyond the pale to imagine an organization being so truculent, particularly with a black athlete who happens to be quarterback, who was so thankful in his tearful gratitude towards them for giving them the huge amount of money, living in a day and age where you still have people saying, shut up and ball, you know, whether it's shut up and dribble literally or metaphorically or figuratively speaking, just basically shut up and ball. When you live in an age like that, and it comes from a family whose who's dad or husband, because Janice McNair is, you know, she, she's now considered the owner of the franchise. Cal McNair is the president, CEO, or the CEO, rather. The bottom line is this. The father, McNair, God rest his soul, passed away in 2018, if I remember correctly. He was the one that was talking about can't let the inmates run the prison. Those were his words, okay? And it really offended the DeAndre Hopkins of the world and others. DeAndre Hopkins ends up gone. Deshaun Watson doesn't even know about it. This is an organization that appears to not give a damn. And as a result, can I imagine them drawing a line in the sand and, be, and trying to be hardcore and potentially willing to sabotage their own selves just to make the point that you won't bully us into making any moves? We'll do it when we're good and damn ready. If we choose to do so at all, do I see something like that as a possibility? Yeah, I do. Because a lot of times with people in well, positions of power, they are willing to cut off their nose to spite their face just to display the level of control that they have and want to have over you, which, as I told you and many others before, which is one of the reasons why you have people in the streets protesting. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.